Check your fly. Mushroom and Swiss bugger. This is a mushroom and Swiss bugger. It's just a regular old woolly bugger with some interesting colorations. And it gets eaten up by the trout. Let's tie one. So as you can see, the tail on this is some interesting stuff called model boo. It's it's some awesome marabou that has a nice mottled coloration made by Spirit River, but they don't make it anymore. So I have had to move on to coyote fur. Coyote fur is the closest thing I've ever found. In the vise, I have a size six, two extra long streamer hook. I've got a 3 16 inch black bead on there and I'm putting about 10 to 15 wraps of uh, 0 0.020 lead wire on there. Pinch that off and slide it right up into the bead. Now I'm going to start my thread. This is some 6 aught brown unithread. Start it right behind the lead and work my way back to the bend. Just make a nice layer of thread there. And it's time for the marabou. This is the model boo. Got a nice clump. I'm measuring it there. I want it to be about the length of the hook shank when I put it in position. Hold it down nice and tight with my left thumb and forefinger and tie it on with some nice tight thread wraps, working my way back to the bend. Hold on to the tail so that it doesn't slide around the hook. And tie it in nice and tight. Now I need to get rid of that clump of butts there. So I lift them all up, trim them as close as I can, and I'm going to cover those up with some thread wraps on a nice even underbody. There you go, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to tie in some copper wire. This is some small sized copper wire that I tie in there at the front and work my thread all the way back so it's in nice and tight and won't slip out. And the chenille on this woolly bugger, or this mushroom and Swiss bugger, is some lovely olive and brown variegated chenille. Tie that in by the uh, middle string there, right at the back, and move my thread up to right behind the bead. I like this olive and brown variegated chenille. It makes a nice mottled color when you wrap it looks delicious if you're a trout at least that's how i feel about it wrap it all the way up to right behind the bead tie it off with a few nice tight wraps of thread and trim that off on top of the hook shank i usually put a couple more wraps there just to make sure everything's in nice and tight now the hackle on this fly originally was Cree, and on this fly that I'm tying here, it is Cree. Cree is like grizzly with a little bit of brown built in. Nice buggy look when you wrap it. Trim off that butt there. I also tie this in a light with a light brown hackle because I've run out of Cree. Here's a brown one on this one. First wrap is right in front of that chenille body behind the bead and over and away from me on all my wraps. I spiral that back towards the tail. Once I get back to the tail, hold it straight up, reach around, grab that copper wire, bring it underneath the hook shank behind the chenille there and one wrap right behind the chenille and that hackle is tied in. Now I'm going to weave my copper wire forward so I don't mat down too many of the uh, nice hackle fibers. Working my way forward.
And when I get up to the front, I will tie that in with a few nice tight wraps of thread right behind the bead. And I like to wiggle that off. You can see from the opposite direction. Just grab it real right ne up next to the bead, wiggle it a few times and it should pop right off. And I can finish off my thread by uh, pulling the hackle back a little bit, making a few extra wraps just to make sure everything looks good. And I will whip finish right behind the bead. Trim off my thread. Now I go back in back there and trim off the hackle as close as I can. I've gone in from the opposite side of the hook. Didn't trim it very good right there. So I'll go in from my side and trim that a little better. There we go. And our completed mushroom and Swiss bugger is ready to slay some trouts. There you go. Thanks for watching. Check your fly.